Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be showing you one of the first card controls that I ever learned and I still use this to this day. The first time I saw this I was impressed and the first time I saw this I was a complete beginner and this is not a one card control but this is a multiple card control so you need to use more than one card so for this i will be using four cards and this is gonna be the four aces so look here's how it looks like the four aces they are going to be going around the center of the deck into four different positions of the deck and here's what's gonna happen as you can see they're getting lost just like that and now if I simply cut the deck then the four aces they're controlled to the top just like this so let me do it once again now normally this is done on a table which I will also show you in a moment but it can also be done in the hands of course so somehow like this and now the cards are once again controlled to the top so that's how you do it in the hands and let me show you how you do it on a table so on a table it looks like this so let me just get the four aces just like that and I am going to do the same thing as before place them into four different positions of the deck now when you do it on a table then it looks a little bit better because you are cutting the deck on the table and not into your hand so here's how uh, it looks like once again so I'm just gonna cut the deck like that and now the four aces they are once again all the way on top now you don't have to cut four or five times usually one to three cuts is enough so here's what I mean once they are in the center then cutting one two three times is enough to get the four aces all the way on top of the deck so let's move on to the tutorial so here's how this is done this takes a little bit of practice and should not be too difficult to learn so once again I will be using the four aces for this demonstration and let me do this face up so you also can follow along so here's how it's done you are going to place four cards or two cards how many cards you want in the center of the deck and you are going to out jog the cards like this and then that out jog is going to go all the way to the bottom and you're going to square it up for a few seconds and then you can take a small break and talk to the spectator and when you're gonna cut the deck then you're going to cut from the bottom so as you can see there is the last card so I'm simply cutting from the bottom dropping that on the table and then placing the remaining cards on top so let me explain it in a little bit more detail so the four aces they are going to be going inside the center of the deck and here's how you do that out jog now you're going to be holding the deck uh, like this so your middle finger and your thumb they're going to be keeping pressure on the cards and this thumb is also going to be doing some of the work and also the pinky later on I'm pushing in the card on the corner and when I do that as you can see they get out jogged right there and when that happens then my thumb is going to grab by this corner of the cards and then my pinky is also going to grab the cards so now if I let go of the deck then I am in this position so my thumb has grabbed the cards and my pinky has also grabbed the cards and this makes me able to strip out the four aces out from the deck now this might be difficult I would recommend 
trying to learn this with one card first. So as you can see, my pinky and thumb, they are holding the card, so that means that if I drop the deck, then only the card is being held by this hand, so the pinky and the thumb. And the cards, they are laying on the hand, but they are not being held as much as the four aces. So if you don't know how to do it, then I would just recommend practicing doing this with one card before you actually move on to the four cards. So once again, uh, let me do this face up. So now you should already know how to out -yoke the cards. You do this and then you out -yoke the cards. And now I'm going to take the cards all the way down. And basically what I'm doing is I am using my thumb and my pinky to hold the cards and get it all the way down. And also make sure that this thumb is all the way to the edge. If it's in the center, then it's gonna be really difficult. This thumb over here, this bastard, needs to be right there. Not here, but there. So it can bypass the thumb if I'm using the word correctly, and once it's in this position, then you can just simply square it up with one hand. So let me do it in full speed, and then let's move on to the last phase of this control, or the last part of this control. So once again, just like that, and this is difficult to do with four cards, but easier with one card, what is happening, man? God damn it! So here's what happens. As you can see, the bottom card is right there. So I'm going to try to cut near the bottom and push that to the bottom, as you can see, right there next to the ace. And then, once I have done that, I'm using my finger by the way, once I have done that, I'm going to take everything out drop it on the table, and then boom, and boom. If you're doing this in the hands, then it's of course a little bit different. If you're doing in the hands, then it looks something like this. And then you place it on top. Which also is a good way of doing this. So, once again, I have already taught it, but I want to explain the last part a little bit more. So, you, you don't have to cut exactly this many cards, but you can just cut how many cards you want. It can be three cards from the bottom, and then you can do this, just like that, or it can be almost all the cards from the bottom until the first ace. So that's basically all that I wanted to say. This is not difficult to do. This takes a little bit of practice and once you have learned it then you can use it forever. I mean until you die. So almost forever. So just like that and now the cards are controlled. It's quite simple to do, really fun. I don't remember who I learned this from, I just remember watching random DVDs many years ago, a lot of old DVDs, and then I learned that one. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe, and if you have not subscribed, then feel free to do so. There will be a lot of more awesome content on this channel. Thank you for sharing the videos, thank you for also uh, checking out my second channel. If you have not checked it out, then feel free to do so. So yes, thank you for watching, make sure to like and comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.